Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a Coach handbag review and it is the newest handbag in my collection. I am deeming it as another birthday gift to myself. So I have gone a little overboard but I could not resist getting this bag. I have wanted this bag since I saw it. It has been pretty sought after I would say in the United States because they haven't released as many as they have in other countries. So I'm in a few Facebook groups and I ended up buying this from a seller in one of the Facebook groups which was so exciting. This was my first time doing this and I did film a little unboxing short on YouTube if you haven't seen that. So I have been wearing this bag for a few weeks and now I'm really getting a feel for how I'm liking it so I wanted to do this full review for you. But before I get into it, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Alyssa and I have a blog called The Gals Guide and I come on here and I review my luxury and contemporary handbags. So if you love Love handbags as much as I do you should definitely consider subscribing down below hit that little red button I would love to have you join this little community with me here and to my current subscribers thank you so much for being here I am so grateful for all of your likes your comments and all of your support I so appreciate you so thank you so much for being here as always that being said let's get into the video so the handbag that I'm reviewing today is the Coach Rogue Top Handle. Now I don't have any other Rogues in my collection. This is the only Rogue bag that I have. The last time I checked, this bag in this colorway is still available on Coach's website in the United States right now, so I will link it in the description box below. But they have had quite a few of their colorways go on sale and when I saw them going on sale I really wanted to get one I saw one in the color hay which is like a yellow and then they had like a faded orange and to be honest I don't need either of those colors in my collection but I almost wanted to just because they were on sale but then I saw that this one was on the Facebook page so I'm gonna show it to you now so this is the Coach Rogue Top Handle in the black with the oxblood detail. I am absolutely obsessed with this colorway and I know I have so many black bags in my collection but I loved the mix between the black and like this beautiful oxblood plum color. So the details of the oxblood are on the hang tag which is the 1941 hang tag and then this chain which in my opinion is the most amazing part of this bag. It's a leather coated chain. So this is the oxblood leather and it has really beautiful stitching on there. And then also the top handle has the oxblood and then the rest of the bag is black. On the bottom it says genuine gloved hand leather. I'm not sure if the camera will focus on that, but I also really love the stitching around the whole bag is like this really beautiful like orangey cream kind of color color like it's almost like a creamsicle kind of shade which I really like and then a really amazing part of this bag too is the way it opens so you just push and this opens super easily and then it opens up into like this really nice red color which I've seen on a lot of the coach bags and it has so many compartments I am gonna do a what's in my bag with you next so you can see everything that I have in here and how I've been stuffing it this has so much organization and before I get into that, the best part is that the back has this back pocket that does fit your phone. So I have the iPhone 14 Pro and it goes right in here. This is where I carry my phone. It's super easy access. That is like a game changer. The thing about this bag that I think is so amazing is that it's not super bulky, it's not super humongous, but you have so much room and so much space to play with. So I'm gonna show you what I have inside the bag. So the very front pocket, I don't have anything in. So this is pretty thin and I haven't really tried putting anything in there just because I haven't needed to. Like you have so much room for everything else. So I'm going to start with the middle pocket and this is the biggest pocket. So I have my Louis Vuitton key pouch. This is in the Damier Azor print and I've been using this as my wallet. And then I have my key fob, which I got this little key cover on Amazon, which I'm so excited about. I think it's so cute. Then I have a travel size Advil in there. 
And then in the largest pocket, I also have my Beats headphones case. So that's pretty big. So I'll show you now that everything's out of there. That's the spot that I had it, and there was still a ton of room that I could have fit more things into. So then in the back pocket that you see stuffed, I have this pouch in there, which is a pouch that I got from Amazon, and it has about four or five cosmetics in there. So I have my Dior lip oil. I actually have two of those and then I have a Dior lip gloss and some keys in there. Then in that back pocket I have two cosmetics. So I have my mascara. This is the Essence Mascara in the Waterproof Edition. And then I also have an eyebrow pencil and gel. This is from Tarte. It is their Sugar Rush line. It's a universal shade. And that is everything that I have in my bag. So there's still tons of room. There's even a pocket back here. It's like a secret pocket. It's really, really thin. But even when you stuff it, like it doesn't change the shape. It does expand on the sides because you have this kind of like accordion style. But it really doesn't change the structure or the shape at all. This is a very structured bag, which I really appreciate. And I just think all the details are absolutely stunning. Like even on this hang tag, it has like this plastic piece. I'm not sure what that that's for but I just feel like everything that they've done with this from the stitching to the leather to the double straps on this bag so the chain strap and the crossbody strap everything is just at the level of luxury so this bag again retails for $6.95 I did get this from someone in the Facebook group for about $475 and it's absolutely worth that price point I don't know if I would pay $6.95 for this because I know that they go on sale but I do think it's an amazing bag like this is like 10 out of 10 quality absolutely amazing I do think if it had feet on the bottom that would be cool but it really doesn't get dirty like this leather is very durable and I will say it does seem like it might be easily scratched just because of this leather being so like flat like you can definitely see scratches if you, this were to get scratched and this bag was pre-loved but it's in amazing condition like I can't even tell that somebody owned this before me and so I'm really really impressed I'm so thankful to have gotten this and I will link the names of the Facebook group chats that I am in in the description box below so you can add to those if you are a coach lover like me some of the biggest pros of this bag is that it is so versatile so you can carry it by the top handle you can carry it with just the shoulder strap or you can carry it as a crossbody both of the straps are removable and the crossbody strap is extremely adjustable and it's very comfortable to wear. I was worried that this bag was going to be too heavy because I know that this gloved hand leather can be really thick. I have two bandit bags that have the gloved hand leather and I don't find that they're too heavy but with this one having multiple chains I was a little bit worried. It's actually very comfortable to wear on the shoulder as a crossbody. I don't find that it gets too heavy. I haven't worn it as a shoulder bag a ton with the chain strap. I am definitely going to. I find that this strap is really lightweight but I do like the fact that it has a crossbody. Now full transparency I tried to watch so many YouTube videos on this bag and there weren't a ton out there and there also weren't a ton of videos with mod shots so I'm definitely going to show you mod shots because I think that is important to see what it looks like all the different ways. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it crossbody. I was worried to see how it was going to lay as a crossbody with all of this going on. It does work and I think it looks really nice when it's at the right length. So it kind of has to be at the right length for your body for this to look right, if that makes sense. But it is really convenient carrying it as a top handle and as a shoulder bag. And if you wanted to switch up the straps, you could because they're removable. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you some mod shots of this styled on me. I am five foot two for reference. So this is what it looks like on the crook of the arm. I think it looks absolutely adorable. I think that this looks very elegant when you carry it as a top handle bag. And it's just very minimal, very classic, very like quiet luxury kind of look. This is what this looks like as a shoulder bag. If I was wearing it like this, I would remove the crossbody strap, obviously. But this is where it hangs. It's actually at a really nice length for me. I, I like that it's not all the way up under the armpit. And it's definitely like a little bit like big, so your arm will kind of hang like this. It's not uncomfortable, but like I prefer to kind of carry it with my arm here. This feels a little bit more comfortable than this, if that makes sense. But I really like the length and I really like the way that it looks. 
And then as a crossbody, I do have this on the shortest setting. So this is where it lays on me right at my hip and I really like this. I like having the chain strap dangling as a crossbody and then the top handle does not stand up on its own. You can kind of lay it on your body if you wanted it to kind of lay like that but I just kind of let it fall and I think it looks cute and it's really easy to just kind of grab and go with your bag like this. So this is what this looks like on me. So overall I find this to be a 10 out of 10 bag. I don't have anything negative to say about about this bag. The ease of use is amazing. I love how easy it is to open and close and when you go to close it, it just snaps right shut. Like it's really really easy especially when you're in the store and like in a hurry. I love the fact that it's really easy to carry and use. I also love the fact that the crossbody strap is this really nice thickness and feels really comfortable to carry. I love that it's adjustable. I love all the different ways to carry it. I love that the color mixing on this isn't like super color blocked like I love that the whole bag is black and then it just has like the touches of the ox blood I find that I don't grab for color blocked bags as much I find that they're a little bit more difficult to match with things and this is just such a sleek and clean bag I love that there's not a lot of branding or logos or anything like that it's just absolutely stunning and everything about it just makes you feel very luxurious to carry it and honestly it's like next level for coach in my opinion I think that the 1941 collection of bags with the gloved hand leather is unmatched. I think it's really great quality. It really enhances my love of the brand, if I'm being honest. In my opinion, just all of the different details make it really stand out. To me, that's why I love luxury. I love the feel of the craftsmanship and just the quality overall. And this bag is absolutely amazing. So I highly recommend this bag. I'm interested to hear from you if you own this this bag if you're eyeing it if there's a certain color that maybe you got during the sale I would love to hear from you and if you have any questions on this bag I'd be happy to answer those for you as well thank you so much again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video